Hi, you guys. I have a, another project for you for our kit number three. Um, go ahead and find the world's smallest, teeniest, tiniest canvas ever. <laughs> Who knew they even made them this small? Uh, for this project, I'm just going to show you guys a really cute way to make a piece of art on such a teeny, ooh, how do I do this? On such a teeny tiny canvas. Okay, so this one I turned into a flower. And I just drew on it when I was done with Sharpie. Um, so for this project, you're going to want your watercolor paints. Um, you can pick out some random string if you've got some left over from your weaving. Um, it can be whatever colors you want to, and you can make whatever you want to on this tiny canvas using yarn. Um, it might be helpful to have something to draw with, um, a pair of scissors, water container um, for your paint, and then a paintbrush. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the wrapper off of this. It's so small. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this one, but I kind of want to challenge myself on the next one to actually create um, a little tiny money rabbit on here. So um, this one was super easy because uh, you're going to need some kind of a wet glue. I don't know if I mentioned that. I have just like a tiny bit of um, tacky glue on here today. It's super bright. Um, and I'm going to just use my, uh, here it is my sewing needle to help me push my yarn into place today. So if you have this in your kit, you can find this as well, okay? Um, the first part of this is going to be painting. So I think I'm going to start off with yellow. And again, make a nice little watery puddle in each color that you want to use, right? That's how they work the best. And I might wanna mix in some other colors here, maybe a little bit of red. I don't have a pink on my palette, but pink would be really fun too. And I'll just do a tiny bit of red on this. Mix together to make an orange color. Okay, my fingers are getting kind of messy, but that's okay. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Cool. All right. Painted. Um, the second part of this project is going to involve pressing the string into it with some glue. Um, I do want to give this a few minutes to sort of dry. Um, so while you guys are painting, go ahead, take your time. Um, I'll come back after this is dry and show you guys how to do the yarn part. All right, so my teeny tiny yellow canvas is dry and I'm ready to sketch out my design on here. Um, so I said I'm gonna challenge myself and make a little tiny uh, bunny. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I just have a light pink marker that's actually running out so it's gonna be perfect for this because I don't wanna see my lines too much. Um, just enough to sort of give me an outline of where I need to put glue and then stick my yarn in. So let's see here. I'll hold it up in a second once I've got it drawn out. Ah, haha, this is cute. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see it. Here's my bunny. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my paintbrush. I'm actually just going to wash it off here because it's got some paint on it. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take my tacky glue um, or whatever kind of glue you have, Elmer's glue. Um, you could probably pull this off with a glue stick, just use a lot of it. Um, Cause what I'm gonna do is put it on my brush here and I'm just going to fill in like an outline, like a stencil, fill it all in with glue. Doesn't have to be super thick, tacky glue. Um, is my one of my personal favorite adhesives for crafting and doing art uh, because it's super sticky it dries relatively quickly and it's kind of easy for cleanup if you get it on your hands you can just kind of rub them together and it flakes off like a I don't know, like a snake skin or something all right just spreading my glue around can't forget about the ears all right so you can see or you can't see, um, that I have kind of like a nice, I don't know why it's so bright, layer of glue on here, right? Okay, 
So my rabbit today, my bunny, is going to be um, this cool white yarn that I have. Um, it's really fuzzy and soft, so it's kind of perfect for a bunny. Um, so I hope you guys can see her. I know it's kind of far away. It's the best, maybe here. Okay. Um, but I'm going to use this sewing needle. I can just wash this off when I'm done with it, right? Um, to help me sort of press in my yarn into the spots that I need it. Um, so, for example, maybe I'm going to start here by doing my bunny's ear first. So I'm just going to take my yarn and press it in, okay? If it's not sticking, there is no harm in getting more glue and putting it on top and helping it stick. Uh, the other great thing about tacky glue is that it dries clear. So even though it looks white right now, um, later on it will be totally clear and you'll just see the outline of whatever um, you guys decide to make. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing right now is kind of just going around my outline first with my yarn and then I'm going to fill it in. So I'll go around the body. Do, do, do. Pressing it in, pressing it in. Um, I've got quite a long string here. I'm thinking that this might be easier if I make it a little bit shorter. Then I have less string to manipulate as I'm filling in this space, right? Okay. So I've almost made it all the way around. I'm just going to have to use my fingers from time to time here. Do, 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 going back in. Yeah, it's definitely easier with a smaller piece of string. Highly recommend. Um, so I'm just dipping my sewing needle, my glue applicator, <laughs> um, into that tacky glue pretty often, and I'm actually finding that it is helping this yarn stick. I'll hold it up here in just a second. I'm maybe halfway done here. <laughs> Get down. Can you see? So it's coming along. I'm gonna cut off another piece of yarn here. Again, keeping it small so it is easy to use. And I'm gonna add my next, filling in my soft bunny. You guys could do the letter of your name. You could do a sunshine. You could do um, what else? Keeping it fairly simple because it's a little hard to get details with big fuzzy pieces of yarn. All right. I think I've got this filled in pretty good. I can still see my pink marker outline. Um, I'm actually not too worried about that. I think I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm gonna fold it up here. So you guys can work on this for a little bit. Take your time. Um, it can be a little tricky, but if you focus, I think these are gonna turn out really, really cute. So, oh my gosh, the lighting is just so bad. How do I do it? There we go. Okay, so you can see that I filled it in with yarn. Um, I think I want to add some details, like maybe a nose and some eyes for my bunny. So I'm going to take my stickers. I'm going to give this bunny stars for eyes. <laughs> and a heart for a nose. Uh, one last thing maybe that I want to do is use an extra piece of yarn here. I've got pink. I'm going to cut up some really tiny pieces, and this could be um, like the soft pink of the bunny's ears, and I'll show you in just a second. Again, any piece that I'm sticking on that's not a sticker does need some glue, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue on top of both the ears, and I'm even going to cut this tiny, tiny piece in half again. Now it's got soft ears. <gasps> oh, maybe it needs a tail. I just remember they have like soft, fluffy tails. So I'm gonna do just like a little circle next to him. This is gonna be his tail. And then I use my needle to help me squish it in.
All right. I think I need a little bit more and then I'll be all done. <laughs> all right. So this is what, oh my gosh, you guys, how silly is this? This is what my final bunny looks like. Oh, what, you can't see it. Okay. Um, if there's any other details that you guys want to add to it, you totally could. I could draw stripes in the background with my pink marker. You could add more stickers to it. Okay. So have fun with this. Um, if you guys do decide to make a little teeny tiny flower or a little teeny tiny bunny, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Have fun.